We are, we are back. back! Yay! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. We're here with a very special episode to mark our 100th show. We're still observing social distancing in the studio, but it's great to be back. Not only do we have our usual showbiz chat and our wry look at the fun things we found on the internet, but we have a new feature coming later in the show too. As you can see, I'm not here on my own. We have the man who needs no introduction, so I won't give him one. It's... It's me, the Discount Madonna. <laughs> um, it, yeah, hello, it's so good to be back in the studio again. And for such an important milestone in Chewing the Cud, our 100th show, no less. And to make it an extra special episode, we have some special guests popping by or joining live over the internet wires. Yes, we got through the lockdown together. Yee! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh! <laughs> Bits everywhere. <laughs> Don't oh. sniff the poppers, Lee. Nice. Um, but we couldn't have done it without the great guys in our technical gallery. So thank you so much to the gallery guys. Oh, look, they're there. Not Hello. All, not all heroes wear capes. No. No. You can still keep in touch with us on our social media platforms at the Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to this wonderful show as a podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud. And if you have commented, shared, or clicked on one of our social media platforms, then your name could be sliding along the bottom of the screen underneath my conical boobs right now. <laughs> I think we have a message from one of our celebrity oh. pals, you know, Lee. Oh, I'm excited. Shall we play it? Let's go for it. Who, who can it be? You're right, it's me, Maggie T. I just wanted to say, have a lovely 100th episode to everyone at Chewing the Cud. Did you know it died? This is me real voice. No one believes me. Don't have to put it on anymore. Can't wait to see what's coming up in this episode. Or what's coming in the future, actually. Much love. Big kisses. Bit of a bum squeeze. Your friend, Maggie T. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was uncanny. That was, it was, wasn't mm. it? Yeah. Yeah. I Quite impressed that she's looking so good for someone yeah. who's been dead for a while. She came down from above, mm -hmm. like a burning effigy. <laughs> <laughs> I could, yeah, I could hardly contain my excitement. I nearly mm -hmm. spurted my excitement out all over the set. Oh dear! Uh, I thought that was just because you were feeling lonely during lockdown. This could get a bit messy. But we all like watching you feel far too much, Mike. It's time for Day of the Week. The producer can't be here today as he's starring in a production of Midsummer Night's Dream. He said he's sure he would be able to pull off Oberon, but for now he's looking forward to presenting his bottom six days a week and twice on Sundays. So while he's busy with that, he sent us a quiz. As we are 100 today, he wants us to throw a party for other centurions. So the subjects of each slide, are they eligible to attend or not? Okay, so let's see the first one. So Patrick Troughton. Tactic Tarkin. Yes, who was the second doctor? He looks well ancient. Well ancient. <laughs> <laughs> if he was a human and he was alive, mm -hmm. he would be a hundred, I think. If he was a time lord, then I don't know. Mm. I think he isn't or wouldn't be a hundred if oh. he was still alive now. I think you might be losing on that last one. I think. Yeah, Shall let's we reveal see? it. Let's see. Oh, uh, he, he would have been a hundred. Oh, I'm right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 All right, the joke, because you know, for once you got something right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's, let's have another one. Let's, let's bring up another. Oh, party or pooper. Cadbury's flake. Only the crumbliest, flakiest chocolate. Mm -hmm. Tastes like chocolate never tasted before. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and can you eat a flake without licking your lips? No, but I think I can ship it on my bum. So, the Cadbury's factory was founded in 1920-something, so I think that Flake isn't 100 years old. Um, <laughs> I, I vaguely remember watching a documentary on chocolate. Chocolate! Um, and I think it was... I think it's been around. I think it's been around the block. <laughs> Apparently it has. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, <laughs> milk, milk, lemonade, around the corner, chocolate's made. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with it is 100. Okay. <laughs> Come on, quick, let's move on. <laughs> it is a hundred. Oh! Right. Hooray! That's a point each, isn't it? Uh, apparently so. Mm. Yeah. All right, shall we have the next slide up? 
Patio Pooper, the first woman to appear on a UK jury. Oh. Oh. Mm. Now, that's an interesting one. Because I know suffrage, it was you know, the female vote is 100 years old. Yeah. But it's sitting on a jury. I don't mm. know. I'm going to hope that it is over 100 years old. So I'm going to say it is. I don't think it... I think it's probably later than we think. Mm. Like, 50s. Ooh, should we see? Yeah, let's have a look. Oh, it, it is. is 100. Yay! Oh, well done. Hey, I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, let's let's lob another one out. Party our pooper. James Doohan, Montgomery Scotty Scott from Star Trek. <laughs> That's his nickname. He didn't have the middle name. Well, he was a bit, <laughs> so why? <laughs> Montgomery Scotty Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote him a boat face. Yes. <laughs> Uh, well, I don't think he's got the power to do it. That's just gone straight over your head, hasn't it? Yeah. Is, it is it a Star Trek <laughs> It is. Joke? He, he can't do it, Captain. He just doesn't have the power. Oh, but in a Scottish accent. That's OK. Um, I think he would be 100 years old. Is he still dead? Is he still dead? <laughs> no, he got better. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful plumage, the Norwegian blue. <laughs> um... um I think he's. Uh, well, you see, if you think William Shatner, he's not. He's not. He's not dead, and he's not <laughs> no, it's, um, But he has aged horribly. Yeah, and I think his wig is probably his wig's are hundred made out old. of a hundred year old hair. Yeah. I'm going to go with. I don't think he would be. I think he would be in his like nineties. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Let's see what Scotty Scott is. Oh, oh that's right. He would be. Oh. Oh. So that's that's a good one. Mm, okay. Well, if he was still alive. Mm. <laughs> um, shall we have the next one? Party or Pooper, John Pertwee, Doctor Who. He was Wurzel Gummidge. He was Wurzel Gummidge. <laughs> That's not quite the question we're asking. He wasn't, no. What is this, this doctor famous for <laughs> other than Doctor Who? <laughs> uh, I think he he will be 100. I'm sure that I've seen on social media his son, mm -hmm. who is, is it Sean Pertwee, his son? He's an actor. Okay. I'm sure he's recently posted, um, like, a happy birthday. It would be your 103rd mm -hmm. birthday or something like that. Yeah, I'm saying it, if he was still alive, he would be 100. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So shall we see? Oh! oh! He's older than 100. Older than... Well, I said 103, oh. didn't I? Yeah. So, technically, I got it right. But you're, you're, no, but you're also... <laughs> <laughs> so he would have been 101... Oh, mm. it's not a pointly. I'm just trying to squeeze another one in. Ooh, squeeze another one out. <laughs> so, party or pooper, rive eater. I like a rive eater. No one likes a rive eater. I do, I like no, a rive no, eater. No, you don't like a rive eater. I do eater. like a rive eater. You feel eater. virtuous eating one because you realise you're eating chipboard. <laughs> but you don't... <laughs> I like a I like rive eater with dairy lay on it. I no, love you don't. it. I no, do. No, no, you just do don't it. Don't be telling me what no, I'm doing. No I don't. one likes. I bloody do. It's what they did. They basically went. Oh, no one's buying wood chip paper, paper anymore. What can we do? Let's paint it brown and sell it as rivita. They used to do a really nice crisp form that was like sweet chili, tiny rivitas. So not as only crisps. yeah, not Keep only crisps, no, <laughs> not only. See, there's, there's a story. There's not only were they good for you, but you could also pretend that you were a giant eating them. <laughs> An insight into Lee's mind, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway. Um, yes. um, I would say Rivita are 100 years old because they, they like Kellogg's cornflakes, they look like the thing that they would invent as a health food to stop you not yeah, masturbating. Yeah, like call them ye olde Victorian consumption destroyer yeah, biscuit. made from wood. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to say no, I think they're not 100. I think okay. they're like 80. Oh, 1925. I was right. Oh, OK, you were right. Well, I was right again. You got one right, yeah. Yeah, I was around when they first came out. They were delicious. <laughs> delicious then and delicious now. <laughs> so, so who are we... Are we... Are we... Is it a draw? draw? It's a draw. We drew on our 100th episode. Oh, how marvellous. Ooh, yeah, yes. Wow. Yay! Yeah, high five. Ting. Can't Social stay distance. Stuff, yes. Awkward high five. Still to come, we have our exciting, totally original, and rather extraordinary new feature that in no way have we reworked from our lockdown lessons. Honest. Coming up next, we have Lee and the showbiz news. 
Lee, do you remember when we had those part-time jobs? Do you know what I could do here? Could it be the really nice coffee? Where's that little robot? He has a nozzle where it spurts out. Hmm? No? Okay. What about that, that brown one, that big furry thing? Chew Chewbacca? Yeah? Nobody seen him? No. Am I on the right ship? Is it the right one? No? Oh, okay. Whatever. Oh, Klingon. <laughs> Of things to say. Hi, lambs. It's me, Mariah Scary. I mean, Carrie. I'm here in my luxurious penthouse flat in New York City. I just wanted to stop my noise making and um, wish you guys at Chewing the Cud a happy 100th episode. That's amazing. In fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make one of my special noises that only normally dolphins and gay men can hear. I'm gonna do it for you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, you're so welcome, little people in my phone. Used to a hundred more. Bye. <laughs> welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Well, that was a lovely message from her, wasn't it? But now it's time to speak to the man who knows the best way to do a facial. It's Lee with the Showbiz News. Yeah, you've got to put it on while it's still warm. Mm. Once it's gone claggy, yeah. it's no good to anybody. Is it not? No. Oh, so, so hot and hot and ready hot to go on. And ready. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyway, um, some showbiz news. It's different showbiz news this week because oh. because we're on our hundredth episode. Yeah. So we're going to do it a little bit differently. And although we are on our hundredth episode, we mm. still look barely legal. Yes. I think. Very, yeah. very, very yeah. so. Jailbait. Mm -hmm. is apparently the term. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at, so with the magic of technology, yeah. we have got some celebrities and we've put them in a time machine and we've aged them. Oh, good. Yeah, <laughs> we've aged them to 100. Um, I'm going to have to do something with my bosoms at some point because they're, they're, getting, they're getting in the way. I don't know how Madonna deals with them. I think um, she's got a, a, a person specially designed to look after her bosoms. Look after her bosom. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't surprise me if she had a man to do They've it. They've gone. There. Oh, I feel better now. Um, so, we're going to look at some photographs and you are going to get try and guess mm -hmm. who is the old celebrity. Okay, so we're going to see an old picture. We're going to see person. an old version of them, All right. uh, what they would look like if they was a hundred, mm -hmm. and then we'll see the young version to see if you've got it right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let, let's go and have, let's have a look at the very first one. Now then, oh. what do we think? Right. Well, it's, I think that would be. I think that's a singer or a singist. A singist. A singist. Yes. Is that not what they call them? Vocalist. Vocalist. Yes. That sings. Yes. So singist works. Cunning linguist. That's something very differently. Is it? Yes. Okay. You've been looking at that word a day calendar. <laughs> yeah. It's not what that means. Okay, okay. Um, I think that, that could be someone. But then I, I don't think it was. I'm going to say it's Catherine O'Hara. Who? Catherine O'Hara. Who's Catherine O'Hara? Moira Rose. Oh, okay. That's a name, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Catherine O'Hara? Yeah, I had no idea who you were, you were referencing then. I was like, what? <laughs> the mum from, from Home, Home Alone. Alone? Yeah. She's not a singer, though. Yeah, I've changed my mind on the You've changed your mind? Singer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've so, had one of my legendary changes of heart. <laughs> let's dunk her in the fountain of youth Ooh. and take her back to how, she, how old she is now. Okay. So let... Oh, it's Adele! It's Adele, isn't it's it? It's Adele! It's Adele! Oh. oh, hello from the other side. Oh, I, I miss Adele. 
Yeah, she's ages. not died. It's been ages since we've heard anything she's from her. She's getting ready. Yeah. She's getting ready. So, yeah, you failed at that one. Okay. So, yeah. Felt let, a bit harsh. Let's, let... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get let's it right. move on to the next one. The next <laughs> okay. celebrity um, who we've, we've, we've proper made old. Ooh. Mm. Oh, I'm not sure yet. It's, it's another... Age has not been kind to it's her. It's not, and... <sighs> See, it's got a Grammy logo in the background as well. Okay. So I'm thinking the last one was a Grammy person. Whether this person will be a Grammy... I'm going to say J-Lo. Okay. No, she's already 100. What am I doing? J-Lo's already 100 Yeah, but she old. drinks formaldehyde. Formaldehyde? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Special drink that celebrities drink. Well, let, let's see. Let, let yeah. us, let's Have dunk her in the, in the vat of youth and see... Oh. oh, it's Ariana Grande. It's Ariana Grande. Grande? Grande Frappe. <laughs> um. <laughs> and then her backup singer is Ariana Grande B. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Tumbleweed. Jump. Yeah, so not doing so well at the moment. No. Let's see, let's see if we can reverse it. Let, let's, let's bring on the next codge. <laughs> Oh! Oh, that share in her natural form. <laughs> <laughs> it, she's, she's taken a wet wipe and she's just popped it over her face and she's taken the makeup off. Let's see if that crone is indeed <laughs> the legend that is Cher. It, oh, it is! It is, yeah. You could tell from the, if you just took away all the plastic, that's what she would look like right now. Yeah. Yeah, that that is that's if that's how she goes out at night. <laughs> when she <laughs> when she wants to nip to the shops, not get a pint, of, not get bothered. Yeah. No, she needs to bob in and get some some youth, yes. bottle of youth. <laughs> okay, well, well, yeah, yeah, well done, well done. Let, let's move on to somebody who I think you particularly you might quite like this one. Okay, let's have a look at this. The next one. Oh, daddy. You see, <laughs> oh, would that be Chris would that be a silver fox or a polar bear or a... that would be a polar bear? A polar bear. Yeah, if it was a little bit chunkier, but that's that's Chris Hemsworth. Oh, so shall, shall, shall we, we see? see if it is indeed a member of your bank? It is. It is because I knew the photo that you'd used just from that jacket. Is have you said? Do you have you have you got it say? It's in it's in my mind. Oh. It's in there. Okay, so what, either or, would you? Is it prefer? prefer, prefer right? I, I would. I would prefer young Chris young. Hemsworth, and probably wouldn't with old Chris w Hemsworth. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. No. Okay. I don't want him for my sparkling personality, Lee. Well, you know, it, you know, it could be taut below the neck. Mm. Old but firm is okay. the, is the is the word. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, you, you, you're on. So two wrong, two right. Okay. okay. Let's let's go on to the next one now then. <laughs> this this is this is if this is what he or she <laughs> could look like i would be booking in that surgeon that to me feels a little bit like harry styles it feels like harry styles Just, in, in me waters i've got that feeling of harry styles let, let us reveal to see if it is is harry styles oh it you is. are right oh. see, was, i didn't know whether the blouse might have fooled it you. wasn't it wasn't the blouse that no. fooled me. It was that I could see a tattoo under his thing. Oh. I know he's got collar tattoos. Oh, okay. And four nipples. Yes, we, we have, we have mm -hmm. discussed that before. Okay, yes. well, well, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, who is this stunning... <laughs> this stunning golden... Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Golden-aged punk. The, um, the, the angle of that photo looks very familiar. Does it? Yes. It's the same sort of angle I see every time I receive a picture of somebody not a million miles away. I think it's Yuli, um, having been aged five years. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Let's have a look then. Let's see. Ah, uh, see. I could see it just from the pout and the... I, I everything's a looking up shot. <laughs> well, um, now that we've, we've put all those celebrities back in the old people's home, mm -hmm. That is all we have time for on Celebrity Old Codges. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lee. Coming soon is a hotly anticipated new feature segment. But coming up first, after the break, it's Mike's Buzz. At least this week, we're not being sent on some ridiculous location to film content for the show. Do you remember all the times over the past 100 episodes where we've had to go on location? Can't stop now. I'm rushing. 
I've been the length and breadth of this island, and can I find a decent wool shop or haberdashery? <laughs> can I buffalo? It's supposed to be all right when it's finished. A few cushions, a bit of fairy lights, yeah, whatever. told me we we're going to go and see steps. This is not what I had in mind. Well, this clearly isn't the Arctic ring I was supposed to dress for. And this is Mike Benningro reporting for Chewing the Cud on a special location. Because apparently I need to be in a dinosaur suit, because otherwise I might get eaten. Ah. Producer's useless. Never turns up for a show anyway, always just takes it in. Don't why I bother. <laughs> After singing on Thing Tune, it's just... I need a new... That's it, get me out of here. I had enough. I thought you said pack for Antigua, not the Antarctic. Oh god, I'm so cold. Oh, I'm just gonna go pick up a penguin. Oh, wait a minute, Lee, it's not my fault. Told you, it's that producer. Does all sorts but doesn't do any work. Wait up. It's me, Martin McCatchin, award-winning Marty, award-nominated Marty McCatchin. I was in EastEnders till I died. Everyone loved me in that and said I was the best character ever. I outranked Doc Cotton. Everyone loved me. And then I did that song. This is my something. This is my something. Something do do. It's been a while. Can't remember the words. I wanted to wish you all a very happy hundredth episode of Trina Cad. And can't wait to be on the show. When are you going to get me on, eh? Much love. Big kisses. Mwah. Bye. I used to advertise yoghurt too. Welcome back to Chewing the Cod. Oh, that was that was a coup, that, wasn't it? Yeah. Getting her to put down the yoghurt and... And come on. Yeah, yeah. She, she wants to come on and present as well, yeah. apparently. I didn't so. know she lived in Blackburn. Now it's time to speak to the guy who knows exactly what 100 feels like, one after the other in quick succession, it's Mike with the buzz. Well, indeed, we have got some very special birthday content in the buzz this week. If there's one thing that TikTok is full of, it's people creating their own dance routines to their favourite songs. So we thought it can't be that hard. Let's get a friend of the show, choreographer Paul Culshaw, to do a well-known tune for us to dance to. Hey there, because the boys, uh, for anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Paul, and um, first of all, before I get into anything, I just wanted to say that I've absolutely loved being able to kind of catch up with the way that you've been doing stuff and catch up with old uh, episodes that you've been doing and stuff like that. It's been absolutely amazing. But getting into it now, um, you've asked me to choreograph a little routine for your opening sequence music. I'm a dance fitness instructor. Um, obviously, you can't tell with my style. <laughs> um, I like all the prints and the craziness. This is another thing you can ask me about that another time. So anyway, I've choreographed a nice easy routine. You've asked me to do this. My challenge back to you and for anyone who wants to learn it, post your videos. Let's see how much fun we can have with it. It's nice and easy. Going to break down the steps for you now. Just going to walk through the steps. And then I'm going to show you a little video with the music. So starting off with your left foot in front of your right foot, just in between actually, just between the heel and the toe, head down. Music comes on. You go one, hip bump, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. We're going to go into a little box step and you're going to hit those shoulders. You go one, two, three, four. You're going to go arm, arm, hip, hip, roll, roll, because we're like a nice little sexy Shakira roll, don't we? You're going to go into little four flick kicks, taking it forward. One, two, three, four. Going right, left, right, left. We bring it back with four step claps. Two, three, 
four. We're gonna slide to the right, get right low and bend those knees. We know you can get down. You're gonna slowly bring it over as a windmill turn. And imagine you're on a clock. You've just turned to nine o'clock. You're facing nine o'clock as you've rolled. You're gonna slink it up and then gonna go push, 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 push. You're gonna do some press turns. You're gonna go press to the front, to the back, back, to the front, and then we're gonna go a little rock with the right foot and cross behind as you drop. So you're gonna go rock, cross, side, behind, and then you're gonna unwind a full turn round, drop with more windmill arms, and then we're gonna jump and hit a pause, whatever pause that you want to. So that last section, just so you can see, your left foot's in front of your right foot, there's only one way for you to go, and you're bringing it over the right, all the way down, Boosh, and then you hit whatever pause you want to. Simples, or so we thought. You can be the judge of that. Let's roll the VT. Do it with music now, so you can have a good old practice. Can't look at it. <laughs> I think hide. we did really well, Lee. Ooh! <laughs> yeah. there, were there were choices made. There were choices made. <laughs> yeah. If something catches your eye on the internet, why not share it with us? Just look for the Could TV on all the social media platform and send us a message. That brings us to the story of the week, and this time it comes from the world of professional bakers. So Lee, you'll have seen on the internet a lot of people creating these real-life cakes. Mm. So I, what I want you to do is work out whether it's a cake or the real thing. Cake or fake? No, because the cake is the fake. Oh, OK. So it's the cake or the real fake thing. Fake or real thing? Yeah. It doesn't have the same ring It doesn't have the same ring to it, yeah. but it's factually accurate, so it'll yeah. work better. OK. <laughs> okay. So let's have the first one up. I, I... So is this a block of wood or not? Ooh, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with. Uh, f f one more time. I'm gonna go with. Um, gonna, <laughs> Do you remember Fuck Lord Leco? I say, 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 it's a kick. I think it's a block of wood. You think it's a block of wood? Yes. Should we have a look? Yeah. It's a cake. Ooh. Oh. Realistic. Realistic block of wood. My eyes did not deceive me. <laughs> no, you, you spotted the cake. I did. You did. Okay, now the next one should should be a bit trickier for you. Is that a wooden box or is that a cake? Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with cake again because really, you know why not? Are you sure? Is that your final answer? Yes. Your final answer is cake. Cake. Okay. Shall we see? Yes. It is cake, you're right. You, you don't, try and, just don't try and make me doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I do it on all the quiz shows. It, yeah. Yeah, are you sure you want to select That's my superpower. The, the hot cake. <laughs> but detecting what it's cake, I often go around gnawing on things. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got asked to leave Tesco. <laughs> it's not cake. <laughs> <laughs> no, so that's one of the employees. Please stop. <laughs> okay, we've got another one for you to try and work out if this is cake or not cake. Well, that's a bell. That's a bell. Yeah. Um, but I, is it a cakey bell? I, well, it's got a sh the end has a shine on it. It has got a shiny bell at the end. Yeah, yes. I'm going to say that is a that is a, a, a bona fide bell. <laughs> okay, so because of the shine on the end of the bell. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look then. No, it's <gasps> a cake. Oh, oh! It was a it was a bell in disguise. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a shiny bell and has de deceived you. It has. Yes. Oh. Okay, and then we've got one more. One more, oh. Chicken. <laughs> well. Now, is that cake, or have I just taken a photo of what I was eating last night? Uh, uh, I would, I'm gonna go with, with it, it, it's, it's just chicken breasts. It's just chicken breasts. Yeah. One each side and then one <laughs> down the front. <laughs> I wasn't going out, so I was oh, cooking dinner. Okay, you just cooking your meal. <laughs> exactly. A lot of protein there. There's a lot of protein. Yeah, um, yeah I think that's, that's genuine chicken. Genuine chicken. Yeah. Okay, chicken. shall we see? 
was actually cake. Ah! <laughs> it had like fatty, marmaly stuff on its yeah. skin. It did, you're right. Ah! I'll still eat it. I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I wouldn't care. No. Oh, wow. Would you eat any cake like that, Lee? The, the word cake mm -hmm. gives it away. It could look like a rotting cork. And as long as it was made of cake, <laughs> it would be in my face hole. All right, so it's, next time we, we have a birthday party or, or something, we need to make a cake that looks like a rotting cork to yeah, test that theory. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Or, you know, like, like do you remember that episode of Friends where they made the... She wanted the cake for the christening and it ended up coming... It literally ended up coming like a massive winkle. I didn't watch that much Friends. Oh. I wasn't really into Friends, sorry, Lee. Um, but I did find some other pictures of cake on there that oh. looked like actual body parts. Okay. Um, we couldn't actually show them there oh, no. because they I got were really very, excited, very accurate. I got, like... No, they were very accurate. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Mike, for making me question the very reality of the fabric of the universe. Now I'll look at everything and wonder if it's cake. I pretty much did that before anyway, so <laughs> it's not uh, anything different. You've waited long enough, you lovely cudsters out there. Coming up after the break, it's our new feature. We're excited, but of course we've had many exciting adventures in TV land over the last 100 shows. Let's see some of them. Ooh, never been inside a box before. It's true what they say. It's bigger on the inside than on the outside. Ooh. Oh, what can I watch on... There must be something I can watch on telly. Oh, let's have a look. Let's go put these buttons. Oh, yeah, chewing the cord, yeah. I like that little chubby funny one with the glasses. Uh, what does this button do? Oh, bugger. Doctor Who is very different to Star Trek. What's going on? Oh, I can't believe I've, I've listened to you. Oi, Peggy, Gron, Sharon, I'm gasping. Oi, oh. You can't get the staff round here, can you? I'm a good girl, I am. <gasps> oh, sorry. Oof, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Just get out of your way. Has anybody seen Rue? RuPaul, massive tall drag queen. I think this might be his marabou trimmed bra. Ooh. No? It's a bag of chips is. Try. No! Can you believe Love after love. Hi, it's me, Cher. I just wanted to stop by and wish you guys all the love in the world for your 100th show. Oh, if I could turn back down. Yeah, I'd literally watch them all over again. Oh, get the party started, little girl. Oh. Wow, someone's looking a bit ropey, isn't she? <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now pour yourselves a glass of Prosecco or a strong coffee, you may need it, because it's time for our new feature. Life Lessons. That's right, you loved our lockdown lessons so much we just couldn't stop once we came back to the studio. <laughs> oh yes, but as it's our special 100th show this week, we aren't just teaching you something. Oh no, we have a bit of a challenge. This week, totally not inspired by TV baking shows, we're going to be decorating a special celebration cake. And so neither of us gets any forewarning, the producer has insisted we wait till now to find out what we're doing. Okay, so Lee, this week we have to decorate the cakes based on our, our favourite episode of the previous 99. So many. And so many good bits to choose from. Oh. All right. I've made a decision. I have made a decision. Okay. We have some mandatory items, though, just to make it a little bit of fun. Okay. Okay. You have to use some of these mini jazzles. 
Mini Jazzles. Mini Jazzles. Not for Jazzles. Not, not for Jazzles, no. And some random yellow crystally things. That's like earwax. Like earwax, yes. Okay. But I have to do this before the end of the show. Okay. Are you ready? Do you have your sponge? I have my, my, my cake. It's moist. It is moist. Moist, yes. Okay. We shall, we can then begin. We can begin. We can begin. Okay. Big cube of Oh, it's pre-rolled. Oh, how handy. Yeah. I can roll it out. Rolling, rolling on a cake stand. That was a song, wasn't it? Oh, I say. Oh, I say. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from again, Lee? Just, mm -hmm. I've just lobbed that <laughs> on top of me. Kick! Um, <laughs> Did you just sniff the, the thing? It's important to smell. <laughs> um, yeah. So I need to. Okay. So while we get going, should we see if we've had any more celebrity messages in? Oh, please. All right, lads, it's me, Victoria Beckham. I just wanted you to, oi, Romeo, put that bit out, if I had to tell you one more time, seriously, alright, so, I wanted to say a happy 100th episode to all of you guys at Tune the Cat, and I love your show, alright, point, 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 pound, point, 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 pound. Oh, you've got a, a mound. <laughs> I have got a mound, but, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's right, as long as you're wet. Turn around, because <laughs> that doesn't look like... <laughs> But I wanted it to be. <laughs> but it's all good in the hood. Is it? As they say in the um, in the cake decorating industry. <laughs> <laughs> get rid of bits. Get a bit. I like to have a tidy surface, you see. So. Um, Are you having a clear down? I believe yeah. you call it. Yeah. Clear out something different. Yeah. Hopefully, this will. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh, do you have to use all the things? You don't have to use all the things, but you have to use the jazzles and the yellow things. The, the, the jazzles. Jazzles, yeah. Jazzles. Jazzles. Just gonna stick. Just gonna stick them in. Okay. You'd have thought that Adele would have made an effort. She's always hanging around the studio doors, banging on, wanting to, to, to get our autographs. The, Chirpy well, as it, as it happens, she did send us a message. Oh, awesome. Hi, my name's Adele. <coughs> Hello, my name's Adele. I wanted to say a happy 100th episode to everyone at Chewing the Cud. I love your show. Can't wait to see what you're doing in the future. And my new album is available on iTunes. It's not really a new album. I'm just singing the same stuff. But... Yeah, I'm sad. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. What happens when you change your mind on what you want to do halfway through? Can't, can't, then it, then you've ruined it. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Turn up from the other side. You know, this is reminding me of the time that we pinched all the wedding cake. Ooh, that's quite lovely. Hello. No. No, not interested. Okay, children. Yeah. Um, it's quite, quite a nice turnout. Where's the buffet? Do you know when the buffet is? Oh, Aya! Aya, look, I can do that. Yeah. What do you mean it's that? No, that is... I'm not really dressed up for it, is it? A little bit underdressed. It's not the first time I've said underdressed around here, but never mind, that's a different story. Hello, you. <laughs> Speaking of royalty, I think our next message will get you moist with anticipation, Lee, because it's from the Queen of Pop herself. <gasps> Good eye. It's me. Creamy, smooth, pop icon, goddess, Kylie Minogue. All the best for your 100th shari. In fact, 
I'm going to raise a glass of my, my wine. I've gone southern. I don't know why I've gone southern. Let's get back to Australia. Anyway, I'm going to raise a glass to you, you great glass, for your 100th episode. Cheers. Pear Duncan. What's your favorite kind of cake, Lee? Hmm? What's your favorite kind of cake? Cake. Um, cake. Favorite. Any cake, really. I don't like fruit cake. I like a coffee Renoir. A coffee Renoir? Is that not painting? <laughs> no. It's nice. It's nice. It's like shoe pastry. Okay. With, with shoe um, coffee, um, um, coffee jism. Okay. 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 Oh, it's dripping, and I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> If you've got one on your hand, it's a scone, and when you've eaten it, it's gone. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm just on the last strokes now. Vinegar strokes. Well, no, no, it's icing. It's not cheese. <laughs> if it's not cheese, it's not, it, it's not cheese. What I'm creating. All oh, right. Okay. Okay. I I think I'm ready. Okay. And yeah. I'm done too. Screwed it. So I've done Christmas when you dressed up as Father Christmas. That's you as Father Christmas. It looks like the devil. <laughs> as I said, that's you as Father Christmas. <laughs> it looks like a bright red butt plug with a face on it. You're going to say, reiterate. and there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I reiterate, it's you as Father Christmas. Uh, I'm like uh, the Christmas tree. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm giving you points for that because yeah. that is good. Oh, my star's fallen. Oh, oh. The melting. Yeah. And I made presents. These were oh. Presents. You shouldn't have. <laughs> no, I really shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, really, you shouldn't have. And yours is the Halloween one. Yeah, it's a, it's the ghosty. So should we see see who's won that? Yeah. Lee. And the polls are. It's it's. it's no, it's not. Draw. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> It's not viewers, it is not a draw. <laughs> I am the winner. This beats that. At least mine's all sticking together. Well, my, mine's, you know, whatever, whatever. You can, you can say it's a draw, but in my heart. Look, if you even got like, look, 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 I'm gonna, <laughs> look, right. look, the detail on this is extraordinary. That little yellow thing there is the planchette. That brings us to the end of this 100th episode epic. We've just enough time to remind you that we'll be back next week. But in the meantime, you can find us on the internet at The Could TV on your social media platforms. And The Could.TV is our website where we have lots of past episodes. While you're there, please look at the support section for lots of extra content, including some hilarious outtakes. Thank you for watching and we will see you again soon. Bye! Bye. Woo!